looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys, and today we got Team of the Week, Week 5 reveal guys, as you guys know, two legends from Week 5, we got a current hero from Week 5, LTDs, and new Power Up Expansion S players. Super exciting guys, I really do enjoy this Team of the Week now, I really like, Team of the Week for me weekly was never that important, like it was like, ah, alright, that's kind of cool, but DR, like, in general, Team of the Week has just been super fun, predicting has been super fun, seeing has been super fun, there's just so much content on a Tuesday. I love seeing it and as well monday predictions like it's just been a fun time but guys of course your today's poodle squad shout out goes to hey krug shout out to you man for being a part of the poodle squad thank you so much for showing support each and every day if you guys want a chance to be shouted out live on the video in the poodle squad make sure to like the video turn that audio bell and comment down below poodle squad once you do those things you're more than likely gonna get shouted out at some point i go through almost every comment poodle squad comment specifically so make sure you guys are commenting that as well as guys if you like any of these team of the week players and you're hyped for today's mid-afternoon drop and you want to pick them up Heading over to my reserve down below. Coins are discounted, training, and players. You can go ahead and buy the Team of the Week players directly on there as well instead of getting the coins. And just make sure you use code Poodle for an additional 15% off your order. Take advantage, guys. But that's about it. Let's go. Let's go check out the cards. Let's check out the two legend reveals. And then let's check out the current week and the LTD reveals as well as the lower pieces. But yeah, let's get into it. Right, so first, we have 91 overall Lance Briggs for the Chicago Bears. I believe he's an outside linebacker. Doesn't specify which one on this card art, but 86 speed. 89 excel 85 strength 90 tackle 88 play rec 87 block shed 62 power move 50 finesse move now in my opinion he must have a pretty good zone if this is what they're going to be giving us right so on the front of the card looks very Derek brooke esque right moderate speed great tackling good run stuffing nothing else so the only way this card is actually going to be good is if it has a good zone now if he does get the 90 zone threshold which i'm not entirely sure if he can but if he does this card will be a better version of Derek Brooks, and quite honestly, with powered up and everything, 87 speed would be actually super, super solid, quite honestly. I really hope they do give him this zone, because it'll make him a usable card. Otherwise, I don't think he's that usable, because again, if I want an 87 block and 86 speed, I'll just go Lawrence Taylor and also get elite pass rushing out of him. Again, it depends on your scheme. If you don't rush outside linebackers, you need someone like him. Then, of course, he's an upgrade over Derek Brooks. Like I said, it's really just circumstantial to what you do need. Card looks cool, though. I wasn't, I didn't know Lance Briggs that well personally. So, I mean, maybe other guys are more excited than I am about it. But, not bad. But, let's get on to the next card. So, we got Randall Cunningham. Now, Randall Cunningham is actually super exciting. Randall Cunningham is one of the better quarterbacks in Madden history, like, in terms of playing Madden. He, does, he doesn't look like Randall Cunningham in those pictures to me, per se. Like, I always had him as a different look, but... Looks more like Dante Culpepper there, a little bit more to me than he does Randall Cunningham. Could be just me. We got 88 speed, 91 throw power, 88 short, 85 mid, 89 deep accuracy, and then he got 87 throw depression, 91 throw in the run, 88 play action. Now, personally, what does this card need to be great? Powered up, and it's going to have to have whatever gives you short accuracy. It's so probably play fake. Why? Because, again, you're going to want that. If you get that short up and you get that deep up to above 90, and even that medium potentially, maybe the medium can even hit it. You can get all those thresholds. He's better than Vic, right? 89 speed with all passing thresholds is better than Vic. The only thing that Vic has is going to be the speed and the throw power. But Vic doesn't have passing thresholds side deep. So if you can get all three passing thresholds on Cunningham at a loss of like two or three speed, it's so worth it. Because you're going to have an elite pass that could still scramble pretty pretty crazy. I really do like this Randall Cunningham. Again, it comes down to the counts. Now, let's go into it. If he can get above 90 short, medium, and deep with like play fake or something, I don't know how much medium you get from all that. If you do get that, and you can go ahead and take that route. He's going to probably be the best quarterback in Madden. Because he's still going to have 89 speed, right? And Vic, I believe, is a 91. So, either way, going to be super, super awesome. It really just depends on your scheme, how you like to play. If you're a pass-first guy, you still want to go him, right? If he gets the threshold because you're still getting the passing with the included speed. That is where being a passing guy comes in handy. Like me, I'm, I'm a passing guy. But if my quarterback can also run, it's great. Now, the issue with Vic sometimes is that he's more of a run-first, pass-second kind of guy. So... Once he gets the threshold, it's better, but you guys get the point. Randall Cunningham's looking pretty great. Now, let's go check out the other players for the current week. Guys, and for the current LTD from that currently still plays from a prior week is Chris Harris Jr. So, it's not the LTD for this week. It's the LTD for this week in the past. So, 92 overall Chris Harris looking pretty solid. 92 overall cornerbacks is definitely high overall. 89 speed, 89 excel, 92 agility, 89 jumping, 92 play rec, 92 man, 89 zone, 89 press. Now, of course, he can be powered up and chemmed up. So, he can get up to a 93 overall. He'll have 90 speed, 90 excel, 93 agility, 90 jumping. And honestly, powered up and chemmed up, he can probably get up to like a 96 play rec or higher. He can get up to like a 98 zone. I mean, sorry, 98 man 
as well as a 94 95 zone as well as like a 94 press 93 press depending on how much you get locked on up to that's crazy guys this card quite literally can be like a max style man coverage guy he's honestly really good i don't like the speed as much as i, I would have hoped i would hope for like maybe 91 or 90 then 91 powered up but again still solid and of course he's gonna be super super locked down as well which is definitely great but chris harris looking pretty good now that's not my favorite ad for this week guys now finally we are one prediction we got we got we, we guessed right we have odell right now odell was like a given because they gave it out as one day but this one we got right and it's chase claypool that was our my prediction for this week's hero not even overall chase claypool for the steelers he had like 130 combined yards and he had four touchdowns had a great breakout game oh guys this is randy moss jr i've been telling you guys since yesterday if he got the card we're getting randy moss jr i predicted it right too he gets a, he's supposed to get a power it doesn't say it here but i'm assuming he gets one so power up in camden guys he's gonna get 93 speed 94 jumping 90 catching 93 catch in traffic 93 spec catch 89 short 88 medium and 91 deep now here's the thing you gotta put play fake on him you put play fake on him you can get his medium and short running above 90 his deeper running above 90 his spec catch above 90 his catching traffic above 90 his catch above 90 his speed 93 and his jumping 94 and he's six foot three or six foot four i forget point is he's going to be randy moss he's gonna be the best route he's gonna be tied with steve smith for route running for the most part faster than steve smith better catch just as good as catching and he can jump higher and he's gonna be six foot three now or six foot four the only issue is that he is a physical receiver as his uh his archetype so his, his abilities may not be the greatest but guys he's gonna play super good he's gonna be like tyree uh, it's like if tyree kill grew like seven inches and suddenly could also route run at the short and medium level it's gonna be great i'm super excited for this clay pool guys this is randy moss jr randy moss jr i don't, I don't know about the abilities and stuff but as a base card he's gonna be super solid i really do love this chase Claypool card i think they got it right it's nice to see a rookie you know that wasn't so like so so touted right away like in the beginning of the season that just got his rep slowly just ready getting a team of the week card and madden being the best receiver in the game that's it's cool to see and moving on we got patrick queen as one of the rookie premier upgrades you know this is exciting because for all you guys are patrick queen we now have an 88 patrick queen coming into the game with 88 speed 90 excel 87 hit power guys best user at linebacker and right now you can pretty much get non-safety of course because guys if you have him already these are good stats like yes for a typical linebacker maybe 78 blocks is not good but if you're going to user him you got everything you need 88 speed 90 excel he's tall and you have 87 hit power gonna be the perfect user for free of course you have the well, rookie premiere they actually did good they did good in this card we also got a mike davis i did predict davis and queen as well guys it's another twist for me but davis i didn't get a screenshot of but i don't i don't think anyone really cares about the backup running back for the panthers Deshaun Watson got a power up expansion, a power up card. So he can get up to, I believe it's an 85 overall now, which is super cool. So let me show you guys that. Uh, his, these are stats he gets up to, you can see right here on the screen. I personally do think Deshaun Watson gets super screwed every year in Madden. They don't give him the right stats or the right cards. So not, not too exciting to see all this. It's exciting to see Watson get an upgrade. I just feel like they never give Watson a great card. I don't know why he's a super great quarterback. I don't know what Madden has against Watson. Maybe they're the anti-Texan fan. I don't know. We never get good Watson cards, it seems like. Pretty much always now moving on from that we do have troy reader as one of the linebackers we did get for this week as an upgrade as well he is a linebacker for the uh los angeles rams now 85 speed is not bad 83 power kind of like a budgety version of patrick queen not a fan here and then of course for the last one we do have oh sorry two more travis fulgham or fulgham however you say it for these uh eagles he had a great week kind of came out of nowhere and carried the eagles this week in their receiving game uh not a great card obviously he's slow and he can't route run and he can't catch i really don't know what the thought i don't know who i don't know who clicked and typed in these stats on this player and was like we're dropping that he's the slowest receiver i can imagine playing with followed by one of the worst catchers and or no route running i really don't see the purpose to have this guy on the field at all i guess he's just collectible for the most part and then we got kyler fackrell who is the linebacker for the giants and he actually did get a pick six i believe i was a giants fan i didn't actually didn't even want that pick six i didn't want to lose i'd rather get the first overall pick we lost saquon team looks in shambles we don't know how to win there's no leadership i think it's just go in 16 decide if daniel jones is your guy if he is go defense with this pick if he's not take trevor lawrence or something or fields i don't really know just just do something but yeah that's about it for this week guys i'm super excited for the clay pool and of course the chris harris those are super good cards this was a great week of team of the week but that should pretty much wrap up the video guys if you do want to be shouted out the pool squad go down below hit that subscribe button turn the notification bell so uh, comment down below pool squad and of course like the video 
And of course, if you guys do need coins, pick up these players. I think you need Claypool. I think you need Chris Harris. If you need these cards, specifically Claypool, in my opinion. Go down to Mother's Reserve down below. Pick up some coins. Use code Poodle for 15% off. And remember, when these do drop in afternoon, some point shortly after, they will be selling Claypool and the Chris Harris, and they're all directly on there. You can get the cards directly from them. So if you want to avoid the coin buying, go ahead and do that. But that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Hopefully, you enjoy the team of the week. I know I will. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.